Hey guys, I have a bunch of fountain pens, some need cleaning, some need inking, and some are brand new, so let's check them out together. So it's no secret, if you have spent even a minute in the planner journal community, you will end up getting one, two, or more fountain pens. So I'm not an exception. I actually ended up with quite few. I have some that I use all the time. I have some that been on a vacation of sorts. And I also got a couple of brand new pens that haven't been inked up yet, including this one that I just received a few days ago and I haven't even seen it. So I would like to open it together with you and then go over the rest of my fountain pens and see which ones need what kind of maintenance. I know for sure that some of them need to be re-inked and some of them need to be cleaned and um, so let's do that together uh, let's first review the pens that I already own so I got this fountain pen case from Amazon it wasn't too bad it was uh, pretty affordable and I got it mostly because I don't have a bajillion pens but I have quite a few and I didn't want to have them all over the place so I wanted to get a case that fit about a dozen of them and this one was it so it is designed to hold uh, one, two, three, four, five, six dozen pens. So six here and six on this side. As you can see right now, I have uh, seven pens in here and then I have empty spaces on each side. I have these seven pens in here, many of which I use with my planners on a daily basis. So let's go over them real quick. So in on this side, I have my Twisby. I love it. It's Twisby Echo. It's in medium nib and you can see it's a black edition because I love black color and at one point all my things were black. I'm trying to introduce more color into my life so you will see uh, on this side. Um, I kept the tools that came with Twisby in here. I don't use them often because this pen holds ink so well. I haven't had a need to really unscrew or clean it much because I'm still using the ink that I filled it up with. The next one is Palette Metropolitan. This one is inked up with a purple ink, same ink as this one. This one is a fine nib, so it's completely different experience writing with the same ink because this ink is pretty juicy. Um, this medium nib writes really, really wet. This one writes just fine and especially when you use it on Tomoy River paper, it's wonderful. Um, this one is one of the generic pens I got from Amazon. I actually got it in a set of three. Uh, I had the dark green one. There is also a dark burgundy one and a black one. And I gifted two other ones to family members. So I have this one. This one is also in a fine nib. And right now I believe it has no ink. It's freshly clean and empty. On this side, or I guess I should put it this way, I have uh, four pens. So I have two Kaweco Sports, one in this uh, beautiful turquoise blue, one in this burgundy wine color. Uh, both of these are fine nibs. I love both of them. They are inked up currently with two different maker inks. Uh, the Kaweco is inked up actually with P Faber Castell ink and this Kaweco is inked up with uh, Kaweco ink. This one is in turquoise and this one is in chocolate brown and um, this little mahjong uh, pen is adorable it's yes it is that small but when you untwist it and put it together it's actually a writable um, length and it is inked up with a uh, writer's blood which I love it's a really dark dark burgundy color and this one is a Faber Castell pen and it is inked up with Faber-Castell ink. It's the same ink as in here. All of these pens are in fine nibs and on the regular paper, I experienced that some of them were kind of scratchy, but on Tomoe River paper, they all work amazingly well and I really enjoy uh, using them in my Kobonichis and in Stylogy A6, which I know is not uh, Tomoe River paper, but it works just as well. So the two new pens that I have is, you've seen this one in my previous videos, it's also Mahjong brand and this pen is amazing because it comes with a regular pen right here and it's in fine and it also comes with a glass pen attachment here 
which can be swapped and used either way. I decided to use it as an ink pen and just get a separate glass pen for the future to do some ink testing. So, so far it's right here and it can be used in two different ways besides the glass pen attachment you can either use it with a cartridge or it comes with a converter so i will try to use converter today to ink this pen for the first time so let's put this away for now and then the last pen that i want to look at and we're going to open it together it is a managio executive black fountain pen that i got from amazon and it is a hooded type pen i've been looking to have a hooded type pen which um i don't know they look so pretty and so executive as the name states and menage was the brand that um i wanted to get and kind of experiment with it comes in this beautiful box as you can see well like this silk inset it has a card that describes the pen and the pen itself as you can see very executive like nice black and silver let's open it together so this is a snap-on and this looks nice so basically this is what it looks like right so your nib hide underneath this hood and what i like about it is that sometimes when i write with fountain pen i'm sure like many of us i stain my fingers with ink this one prevents that from happening because it covers your nib with this hood and plus it just looks really sharp to me so this particular pen comes already with a piston kind of a fill up which is excellent because you don't need to look for converter or use the cartridges you can let it fill up with whatever ink you feel like so i'm really excited about that and wondering to see how it will actually work so before i inked up these two uninked pens i want to do a little bit of an ink test on the existing pens and see if any of them need a refill or a cleaning and then we move on to these guys let me put them aside and for now what i brought with me here is i have this leather bag and i used to have my stationery in it before i got my delphonics case so i decided to use this one for my fountain pen inks and needs so i have cases from my existing fountain pens i keep all my inks in here supplies and things like that. so let's look at the pens i have in here I'm gonna be using my Hobonichi notebook, the pages in the end, as a pen test pages because Tomoe River paper was truly designed for ink pens and it's the best way to really test them out. All right, so let's start with this Kaweco Sport. Again, it is in fine, it's in this silver finish and it is loaded with faber castell ink in turquoise so let me show which one it is so it's this ink right here and i accidentally found out that it was exactly same length as kaweco sport cartridges because kaweco sports are kind of short so they need a shorter cartridge and when i found out that this cartridge fit in these pens i was really happy because the Fiber Castell has more color options than Kaweco inks, so I'm able to use inks from both of those manufacturers. Apparently it is dry. So last time I used this pen, I could tell that it was getting there as far as getting on a drier side, but I wasn't sure how long it will last on that little bit of an ink. So let's open it and see. Oh yes, it is uh, definitely empty. <laughs> as you can see, there is nothing going on in here, even when I tip it over yes it's completely dry so this pen will definitely need to be re-inked and since it's been dry i believe for a couple of days i will definitely want to clean it uh, through with some water i brought you know vessels here and some water so we'll clean it up and refill it perhaps with the same ink because i really like how they work together and it matches the color of the pen itself so we're going to put it to the side as a candidate to be cleaned and re-inked. So I'm just going to set it right here. The next one is a different Kaweco Sport. This one in this beautiful black cherry, as I call it to myself, or wine, whatever you like. And this one is with gold accents and is also in fine nib. And this one I inked it up pretty recently, so I know it should still work just fine. So we're going to use it to write a title.
there we go so this one is inked up with Kaweco Sport Caramel Brown ink and this ink to me feels on a drier side than Faber-Castell uh, if I was able to write with this one you could have heard how softer this one sound versus this one again I don't know if it might be the nib itself but they both in a fine size so the size is the same but when I write I can feel how much drier this ink is than this one um, then again even though it's on the drier side that sometimes I wish it was a little bit wetter the plus side is that once I'm done writing it's dry almost instantaneously which maybe it is by design so if you don't mind feeling like the ink is on a bit of a dry side it's perfect and I like the color it's I was hoping it'll be more coffee but it's more kind of like a sagey brown but I, I really love this color it's uh, so beautiful and warm the next one is Mahjong and this one is super cute because it's this little and then it's obviously a demonstrator pen it's completely clear except these minty green waves then you just screw it on on this side and you have a pen that fits into your hand especially a small hand like mine and uh, this one it doesn't have any it's basically a barrel pen i guess that's what it would be called it doesn't have any converter doesn't have any cartridge i literally took a pipette and then i put the ink in there i screwed it on and that was it it's really good it doesn't leak i think i might have shaken pen uh, nib down a couple times because you can see uh, just pretty recently I end up with a couple of drops of ink on the bottom of this lid um, otherwise nothing I mean I it haven't leaked at all you can see it. there is no ink on the nib either I didn't have to even put sealant or anything so it just holds on like that this one is um, I know because I moved it around you cannot tell that it's running a bit low on the ink it is still has some of it in it I will write with it for a couple more days and then I'll be cleaning it off and washing it I, I want to wash this off really well I want to rinse it off through and through to get rid of all the red color in it and I want to fill it up with one of the blue side of things inks that I have that I've got that I haven't uh, tried yet so it will carry more of a blue turquoise ink in the future oh let me test with it <laughs> All right, um, actually I forgot to do this. So this one is Kawiko Sport and Fine with Kawiko Caramel brown and as you can see with this uh, case it's really nice it's very easy to slide in pens in here I have had a couple cases before with rubber bands like this one and the rubber bands were too short and you you know you had to really shove the pen in and it was hard to take it in and out this case designed really well as you can see it fits the pens easily and the pens go in and out really easily which I really appreciate so now let's uh, test this little guy so this one is Mahjong and fine with Writer's Blood and this ink is by Diamine Card <laughs> So to you it this might look like almost black or dark burgundy but it's a really really dark blood red color it's basically like wine like writing with wine basically and I don't know if um, I had a wider nib pen you could probably see the burgundy a little bit better but I really like the shade either way and of course when it's in your pen it looks totally dramatic all right and the last one in this row is Faber Castell filled with Faber Castell it's a, this ink as well as in this one and this one I've been using it with my Hobonichi Weeks I think it's just regular fine nib on this paper it's it's amazing so this one is Faber 
Faber Castell in fine. And actually, I just realized uh, this one is uh, kind of dark, so I wonder if I have Faber Castell blue ink that it came with. So, my apologies. Yes, oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. That's what happens when you have a lot of fountain pens. So this one is not in turquoise. It's in just regular blue uh, color that comes with the pen when you get it in its box. And it's with Faber Castell Blue Ink. Most of my pens are screw-on pens and some are snap-on like this and you know what happens, right? You don't remember which one is which and you try to like unscrew the one that snap on and you try to like unsnap the one that's screw on, but I still love them. All right, and so on this side we have only three pens. So let's uh, try my favorite pen. So I love Twisby. Twisby I think was my number two pen I've ever got after I got back into the fountain pens, uh, this one was first and this one is a fine nib and it's actually pretty scratchy on a regular paper, but it's beautiful on Tomoe River paper. And then I got this Twisby Echo and first of all, it's medium nib versus fine nib. And then it's just the way these nibs are designed. I don't think I've ever heard anyone who didn't like Twisby. And once I wrote with this pen, I was like, Oh my god, I'm in love and ever since then I it, it this is my most favorite pen I own and it writes beautifully on whatever paper you have. So it doesn't matter what kind of quality of paper because the nib is medium and the way I guess it's designed it's smooth on whatever paper you use. Twisby Echo in medium. And this one is in Diatrementis. And it's like a really dark purple. And again, it's so dark and the pen writes so juicy that you cannot sometimes tell that it's actually a purple ink. I can actually show you that bottle. So it's this one, so it's an Abergine ink and I, in my previous videos I mentioned that when I was in school we were only allowed to write with fountain pens and it was always in this purple ink, I don't know, it was I guess maybe the cheapest ink around but we always wrote in that same color of ink and then when I saw that one I was like oh my god I have to have, you know, for old time's sake one of my fountain pens filled up with this kind of a ink. And I just noticed that I made a mistake. And it's an A here. Love this pen so much. All right, the next one we have is Pilot Metropolitan. Such a classic. I feel like a lot of you guys have at least one of these in different colors. This one. I got it when I was in my purple phase, otherwise you probably would have seen exactly the same pen, but in a turquoise version. When I found the turquoise version, I did not get it because at that moment I was not too crazy about this pen because it isn't fun and it feels really scratchy on your regular toothy paper. And so I was like, you know what, I, I got it, it's cool, I really like it because it's heavy and it's made out of metal and it's really cool, but I'm not too crazy about writing with it, so I'll just have it, you know, for future whatever. And then when I tried to write with it in this little book, I was just amazed how wonderful it felt on Tomoe River paper and so I've been using it ever since. So this pen is um, filled up with exactly same ink and you can see how Twisby's writing looks slightly different in color. Oops, I know what this is. Then Pilot, even though it's the same ink, but it's because Pilot is fine and this one is medium and so the ink comes out darker. So 
So it, it feels amazing. With this paper, with Tomoe River paper, highly recommend. Cannot say anything about it. Let's put it back in. And the last one is, this one is uh, one of those uh, inexpensive pens you can get on Amazon. I unfortunately don't remember the brand. I've had it for a long time and it's very, very tiny, so I cannot tell. Uh, I'll put it on the screen uh, once I find it. And this one used to have this ink in it for a long time, but because this design doesn't um, store ink really well, it dried out over time and I ended up cleaning it recently. This one's really cool because it has this type of a hooded nib. So I know earlier in the video I said that I wanted to have the hooded nib and that's why I got this new pen that I'm gonna ink up in a little bit. Um, but I also have this one's just slightly different design. And I got this one because I remember that my mom had a pen in black and it was it looked literally like this. I mean it was decades ago and I'm sure it was a different pen completely but when I saw this design it just reminded me of the pen that she had and um, I wanted to have a pen like that uh, to remind me of her <laughs> so this guy is clean and dry and because I'm not using it often right now I keep it uninked because otherwise the ink does dry out all right, so this is walk down the memory lane of the pens that I already have and I've written with before. So now I want to ink up the two brand new pens that I have and also possibly see if I can clean and refill this guy. So first of all, I wanna uh, decide what inks I'm gonna use with these two new pens. So this pen is a see-through to a degree. It's not demonstrator pen per se because as you can see it's not see-through see-through. It is made out of plastic that will obviously show to a degree what's inside of it or at least it will get tinted by it. So I don't want to put a darker ink like a burgundy or purple into it because then it will just look like something black is inside. So I'm thinking to fill it up with one of the turquoise inks that I got and haven't used yet. And then this one I haven't decided about either I have a couple of inks that I bought I haven't inked any of my pens with them so we might use one of those as well so let me get this Menagerie pen and Mahjong pen and see what inks I have so to remind you this one already has a piston and this one has a converter or you can use a cartridge so I can use cartridge with this one but this one will have to take an ink out of the bottle so let's kind of uh, see what cartridges I have versus what bottles I have so of cartridges I have the caramel brown you saw it it's kind of like the sagey brownie ink this one is a turquoise I recently found another turquoise different shade ink it's called deep sea green also from Faber-Castell I was very excited because I knew that I could use it in several of my pens so it's this one right here. I have several Diamine inks. I have this one in Steel Blue. Never tried this one. I have this one in Onyx Black, so it's just your regular black ink. I have this one in Eclipse, which is super, super dark blue, but I'm pretty sure that no matter what pen I load up with it, it will basically look black because it's so dark. And then I also have this one that I got recently, and that's the Writer's Blood that I showed you in my one of my smaller pens. And I also have a, this big bottle of Pelican, and this one is called Turquoise. And I think the rest of the inks I have are your generic cartridges. Yeah, I have a purple pilot so these were mostly I got them when I got that first pilot I showed you so I have a purple I have black I have some more purple as I used to be into purple <laughs> I wasn't kidding and of course I have a uh, Diatramentis and uh, Abergé ink purple over here so basically for this pen the options are dark purple dark burgundy writer's blood 
this beautiful steel blue turquoise kind of color this super dark black onyx black super dark blue called eclipse and this turquoise pelican ink as you can see really pretty and then for this guy besides all of these of course because it does have a converter deep sea green turquoise uh, caramel brown and then purple and black so as i mentioned with this one i definitely want to put something on the bluish side i already have pen filled up with turquoise so I'm probably going to go with deep sea green because I'm really interested to see what color it is. And especially since this one in your, in your beachy kind of color family. The only concern I have, I'm not sure if these cartridges will fit with this pen because we all know there are slightly different cartridge design. So we'll try and hopefully it doesn't, you know, explode all over the place. And if these don't fit right, then we'll put a converter in here and we're gonna try, I'm probably gonna put, um, actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna put a steel blue in here because it's goes together well. And let's try the Deep Sea Green by Faber-Castell cartridge. All right, so to make sure I don't make a big mess on this nice and white cover here, I brought some paper towels and I'm also gonna put like a, some paper underneath here. So first, let's see if the cartridge fits. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't look like this is same design at all. I guess I will have to use this one here after all, but let me put it away for now. Converter it is, my friends. Converter it is. I guess we will be getting the steel blue after all. All right, let's give it a good push. All right, looks like it's in. I'm super excited about this. Okay, so let me lower this mechanism. All right. As you can see in the second time, it literally filled up almost to the top, which is excellent because a lot of times um, these piston pans do not want to suck it all the way up. So let me close the lid so I don't spill it accidentally. Even on the top of this pan, I can already see how beautiful this ink is. Let me use this paper towel to clean it up a little bit so it doesn't get on my fingers or at least too much. Wow, look, it's, it's almost green. Oh, and of course I got it on my fingers. <laughs> Welcome to the world of fountain pens. All right, let me cover it. Okay, let me give it a little bit, just a little bit more clean up here. Okay. Let me give it a quick test here on the card. All right, good, it's fitting through. Okay, let me move this to the side. All right, so this one is also Mahjong brand. I'm gonna put down here because there's other pens on the back side. It glides really nicely. I'm really happy with this nib. And this one is in fine. I know, I wrote lowercase here, uppercase here. I need to get my <laughs> standards straight. And the ink is, so this is diamine in steel blue. Wow, this is really pretty. I know it seemed uh, green here, but you can see it's like a turquoise green and it is really pretty when you ride. It's really nice. Definitely a good good color for the next month in my planner because I'm about to switch colors Okay, let's close this guy up and ultimately after a few times using it. I will see if um, This converter holds up or if it leaks or what So I'm really happy with this beautiful color and now let's 
load up my brand new pen, the one that just got a couple days ago, and it's this one. So again, this one is a Menagio executive pen. All right, so again, choices, choices, choices. Onyx Black, Eclipse, so black, dark blue, Writer's Blood, or purple. So I already have two pens filled up with this. I already have a pen that I have filled up with this and I used it all throughout September. I loved it, but I don't wanna get tired of it. So I'm gonna hold that off and then I'm gonna bring it back in November for kind of like post Halloween kind of deal. And then of course I have these two guys, which probably would work out really well with this pen because it's black, it's very executive like, right? So beautiful and either black or dark blue would work just fine. And I've been really dying to try this Pelican ink in turquoise. And I know I already have three other pens and kind of shades of turquoise, but as you can see, all of these are different shades. And so I think I'm gonna use this one. If I don't like it, I can always clean it and refill it with something else. But I really, really wanna try this out. I had it for a while. I really like design. It's like such an old school, chubby, short, wide, you know, bottles of ink that are very stable and, you know, sit properly. The one's kind of like to use with a quail. All right. Oh my God. Look how beautiful this is. Wow. Okay. I don't know how it will come out, but I'm, I'm already, <laughs> I'm really happy with this color. It's just like a happiness in a bottle. All right. So let's this one will definitely would need to be cleaned up because obviously the nib is completely enclosed and I know it's going to get dirty in ink. Let me make sure. Oh yeah, it has the same spring thing in here as well. Okay. Alright, so let me clean up that uh, top part without hopefully getting ink all over myself again. Look how beautiful this color is. I am very happy I chose it. <laughs> I was born by the sea and I love water and it really ha brings me happiness and anything that reminds me of the sea or ocean or anything like that just... Um, I cannot say no to a nice blue turquoise color. Okay, so this one was much easier to clean than the previous one. Now the ultimate to see how it actually writes. So let me close this up and let me close the bottle so I don't accidentally spill it. All right. Now the test. All right, so this one is called Monagio. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Interesting, on the bottle and when I was filling it up, the color looked really, really bright blue. But when I write with it, because it is a fine nib, um, it looks more just like I don't want to say your regular blue, definitely different blue than this. This one's more like a purpley blue versus this one is uh, like a blue blue. <laughs> I don't know. I'm probably terrible with my descriptions of colors. But I was uh, kind of expecting it to be brighter blue, I guess. Um, I wonder if, uh, again, if it was a wider nib, it would uh, be more pronounced. Okay, so this one is Menagio in fine. But let me tell you, on... It, it's very smooth. It is, it's actually smoother than this pen right here. So out of my two untested pens, this one is much smoother. I'm really enjoying the way it glides, at least on this paper. And the ink is Pelican. And it's in turquoise. Oh, I see. Yeah, like when you um, do a lot of it, it really comes out, the color. I'm really enjoying this pen. The smoothness of the nib is amazing. I really like it. And this pen, I was like 
twenty dollars if that so i mean definitely can i deny the the great deal here yeah oh my god it's so smooth i might actually make it my pen for the month of october in this planner I actually had a different pen in mind, but I think I might adopt this little guy because uh, I really, I really like the way it writes. Even though this one is really a strong contender too, just for the for this beautiful ink color. I mean, I might maybe just uh, go between these two, but um, I really enjoyed this. Plus, of course, uh, the advantage of this one is um, it has a clip. And with these loops being quite wide, if I were to put this kind of pen in here that has no clip, um, it, I know it would stay, but it will constantly slide out. That's what happened to my other Mahjong pen. As much as I loved it, it kept on falling out. And uh, this pen, of course, will stay really well in, you know, because there's a clip and looks really nice, black with black. So I don't know, maybe month of October, you will uh, see this pen paired up with this um, notebook of mine. I will put this pen into here for now. Maybe it is a sign of things to come. <laughs> All right, so for the sake of this video not being 3000 hours long, I finished cleaning this pen off screen. So now I wanna load it up with this deep sea green Faber Castell ink. All right, ever so gently, just push it in. There we go, looks like it's in there. All right. All right, so now let me put the top back on. Post it. And let's try this out in my Hobonichi Techo. All right. So this one would be... Oh, still getting there. <laughs> Let's take a while for this thing to come all the way through. Still a bit finicky. So I notice with my burgundy pen, whenever the brown ink would not flow, I will give the ink a little gentle squeeze. All right, let's try now. Maybe this ink is just that color, interesting. And fine. With I'm actually surprised how um, spotty this uh, ink performance is. I wonder if it's because the pen is, is freshly clean and it will get darker with time because as you can see, I mean, it's supposed to be deep sea green and so far it's very light blue. It's lighter than this, it's lighter than this. Yeah, so it will to be seen. I will uh, write with it more and more until you know, true ink flows all the way through and that gets diluted with I guess whatever water is left inside and then we'll see truly what the color of this ink is I mean if I do it like this it looks pretty in, um, nice like that but I was expecting it to be um, dark right off the bed but um, it's actually pretty interesting Wow! but you can hear it's a uh, uh, pretty dry compared to the other fabric Castell ink that I had in this same pen uh, sounds much drier interesting unexpected Right? That's the fun about ink. You never can be 100% sure how it will actually look. Also, with different pens and different nibs, right? It comes out to be a different color. But anyway, I'm glad that I finally got around to testing and refilling and cleaning all of my pens. And I'm so happy that you were here with me to test these different inks out, to test my new pens out and um, get ink on my fingers. That's always exciting. <laughs> if you like these kind of videos, please like, please subscribe. Leave me your thoughts in the comments down below. Which one of the pens is your favorite? Do you like medium nib? Do you like fine nib? What ink color or manufacturer is your favorite? Please let me know and I will see you in my next video and until then you take care. Bye!